So today we are going to talk about bike shorts. No, not the stretchy kind, the kind that you wear on top of the stretchy kind, sometimes known as an overshort or in just common parlance, a short. And the pair of shorts I'm gonna look at in particular are the new Chrome Madrona shorts, which is their take on a short short. So much shorter than uh, a knicker, but what I think is actually a pretty good length for most people. So if you're not familiar with Chrome, they're a bike brand and they're known for making really rugged and utilitarian bags and have expanded into apparel and shoes uh, over the last couple years. And I think this short really carries on in that tradition of being something functional and also multi-purpose. So let's do a quick overview of this short. Uh, it's a five pocket short. It has two pockets here in the rear, uh, fairly deep, and two pockets here in the front, as well as a little mini pocket here for, I don't know, small snacks or a pen or something. It has a button top and a zipper fly and belt loops all around the waist. So in terms of material, that's what I really like about the short. It has a pretty good stretchy fabric here that appears to be fairly quick dry. And I would classify it in the mid light categories, but not really thick and plasticky like some of those shoulder fabrics can be. So I think this is a really good weight for spring and even potentially summer. The cut of the short is pretty great. It's slim fitted, but not like skin tight. It's definitely more fitted than something you would see in a mountain bike baggy short. So if you're over the overly baggy style of mountain bike shorts, then this is a pretty good option. It's a little bit dropped here in the front. So when you're crouched over the bike, it gives you kind of that freedom of movement. And on the rear, it is a little bit taller. So you're not just having crack all over the place. What makes the Madrona different from their other shorts is that this is the shortest short uh, in their lineup with only an eight inch inseam. So if you're super tall, this could potentially wear like a jort, but if you're average size or a little bit shorter than average than this, uh, short short is actually just a great length for a short. And that's one of the reasons I really love this short. Uh, I really struggle with finding shorts that just don't look dumb on me. I'm a little bit shorter. Uh, my inseam is a little bit smaller than average. And most men's clothing is modeled on someone that's about six feet tall. So it's hard for me to find a short that looks like shorts and not just some weird baggy thing. So that's an overview of the short. You know, what are my likes and dislikes about it? I have to tell you, since this arrived, I've been wearing it pretty much every day, have taken it on multiple rides, and I absolutely love this short. I think it's got great stretch to it. It's a short that actually fits me like a short, which is just amazing. And the material feels pretty durable. This is a short that, you know, if you're going on a multi-day bike tour or something and want to wear an overshort, then this short would be a great fit for that. I like the I like the front pockets that are fairly deep so you can put keys or phone in there and you don't have to worry too much about them popping out on a bike ride. Overall, I'm a super huge fan of these shorts. So much so that I actually went and ordered a second pair in the navy colorway, which seems to be flying out the door because I know that these are shorts I'm essentially gonna be living in all summer. If there is one thing I wish they did change about the short is in the rear pocket. I wish one of these had a zippered or a button closure just so you can stick a wallet back there or, or something and not worry about it popping off during a bike ride. Otherwise for me, it's a dang near perfect bike over short. Another potential downside is the price. These are not inexpensive shorts. I think full MSRP is $90, but so here's the thing. I totally appreciate that you can go to a department store or wherever you shop and pick up any short and bike in them. Yes, every short is a bike short. And I've certainly done that, but oftentimes it's been a compromise. Sure, it's less expensive, but finding those qualities of a short that is stretchy enough, is quick dry and is durable and somewhat fitted is actually pretty hard to find. I spent months searching for the shorts I usually ride in and even then I'm kind of meh, but these shorts are designed by cyclists for cyclists and it really tells. On some shorts I've ridden with, uh, they're too loose and when I stand up, the short actually catches on the horn of the saddle. These are slim without being skin tight and it's a really nice balance. If you do plan to do a ton of riding in these, I'd suggest looking at liner shorts or liner bibs if that's how you roll uh, because the material is a little bit on the thicker side. So something like these Velocio mesh uh, bib liners, which I'm gonna review in the, the next couple weeks. I think if you're looking for a great overshort to ride in and are 
tired of you know department store bingo trying to find that perfect bike short then i would highly suggest checking out the new chrome madronas i like them way more than i i thought i would and and like i said i bought a second pair so that's if, if that's not testimony enough to how great these shorts are then i don't know what is if you guys have any other questions, leave those in the comments below. If you want more videos on bike accessories, check out this playlist. Look for the review on other clothing to wear while riding this summer. And as always, keep the supple side down.